Driving Skills Affected by Drugs, Vision, Perception, and Judgment, Part 3. Limitations that Rise and Fall. Your body will attempt to rebalance itself and return to a normal condition once the first effects of any stimulant, depressive, or psychedelic have worn off. This is less of a problem with many commonly prescribed medications because your doses will be planned to keep you topped up and benefiting from the therapeutic effects of the drug throughout the day. When using recreational drugs, users frequently experience a come down as the effects subside, followed by a rebound as their bodies attempt to offset the drug's effects. Your driving abilities will still be compromised whether you are rebounding or coming down. Depending on the substance and the dosage, come downs can range from mild to quite painful for the user. The harshest come downs are typically caused by euphoric drugs. When the substance leaves your system, happy and ecstatic feelings will be replaced with unhappy, anxious, paranoid, and even angry feelings. This will probably lead to aggressive or inattentive driving. Additionally, the effects of the drug that are still present in your circulation will continue to significantly slow down your reaction time. If you are coming down from any substance, including a hangover, don't drive. Your body will undergo a rebound phase once the effects of whatever substance you have taken have entirely worn off. Depending on the medicine, the dose, and a number of other variables, this could last anywhere from a few hours to several days. Your central nervous system will work to correct itself while you are rebounding by actively opposing the drug's main effect. Therefore, asterisk a stimulant rebound will result in depressive symptoms. The user could experience drowsiness, lethargy, depression, and slower cognition and movement. Asterisk a depressive rebound will result in stimulant-like effects. The user could experience agitation, anxiety, restlessness, and racing thoughts. Recovering from a hallucinogen can have a variety of effects because these substances may also have stimulant or depressant-like properties. For a period after the drug wears off, users may continue to have flashbacks of the hallucinations and experiences they had while using. As you can see, rebounding from any medication can seriously damage your ability to drive. Strongly unpleasant rebounds can also result in continued drug usage since the user will consume more of the drug to mask the symptoms. Drug use and driving are incompatible. Many people mistakenly believe that they may use recreational drugs and still be safe drivers by waiting until they are sober before getting behind the wheel. Regular or occasional use of recreational drugs makes it impossible for someone to drive safely and competently. Due to the early intoxicating effects of the medication, followed by the come down and the rebound phase, your body will almost always be affected in some way. Users of prescription drugs must become accustomed to its negative effects and understand when to avoid driving since they have no other option. The usage of drugs recreationally is a choice. There is absolutely no need to experiment with drugs, harm your body, and develop into a risky driver unless you have been prescribed medication to treat a health issue.